Weight distribution in F1 isn't just about balance, it's about tire loading, suspension geometry, and aerodynamic efficiency all working together. Current F1 cars must weigh a minimum of 800 kilograms without fuel, plus 82 kilograms for the driver and equipment. And while the regulations heavily restrict how you distribute that weight once the race starts, they don't prevent teams from making it a weapon from the very first lap. Teams currently place ballast to pass scrutineering, then hope for the best. Picture a single fuel tank bladder shaped so that as fuel burns off, the center of gravity moves in a predetermined optimal pattern for each phase of the race. The reality is that a typical F1 fuel tank holds 100 kilograms of fuel in a roughly rectangular shape behind the driver. As fuel burns, the center of gravity moves rearward by approximately 150 millimeters over the course of a race. Teams try to compensate with suspension adjustments, but they can't change the fundamental weight distribution once the car is under Park Ferme. This design would have a fuel bladder with an irregular computer model shape. Instead of a simple rectangular design, it would use internal baffles and complex geometry to manage fuel slosh and control the fuel's center of gravity. This would allow the weight to be positioned more forward during the race's early stages for front end grip, and then gradually shift rearward at a slower rate than a typical tank for better tire wear and straight line stability in the final stint. The potential gain could be substantial, perhaps shaving several tenths off the lap time at circuits where weight distribution is critical. At Monaco, where every tenth counts, this could be the difference between pole position and starting fifth.